Hello. Uh, I'm just waiting for, this is a bit of an impromptu um, hipster beer review show. I was actually updating a video and a uh, special guest is meant to be coming. Oh my God, I've still got this to drink first. Uh, I'd uh, been talking to Charlie's brother. Mr. Moni McMona on Twitter. Oh, I'm assuming we're going to call in. There we go. Let me just go. Um, hi, Sato. Good to see you. So, Charlie's brother, I will have to call him. I'm not going to say Mr. Moni McMona over and over again, so I'm just going to call him. Kylo. Kylo. Mr. Kylo Ren. We have one person watching. As always, it's Sato because he's a legend. He's ringing, is he? Um, okay. He's on Twitter. He's trying to work this out. I do apologise for this. Uh, bear with us, everybody, as I'm trying to set this up on the fly because he wants to tell us about his um uh wine he's drinking uh when you there we go that to there that to there that to there there uh, how are you doing stat are you okay oh for god's sake Cap captain f it's here again hey old cat I'm just going to send out a quick tweet because you know we all love the tweets. Uh, one of them. That's the wrong link. I was going to send out the link to the, to the show. That would not have been good. There we go. Oh shit, this is going terribly wrong. Everything's going wrong. How do I stop this? There we go. Uh, let's do that. No, let's do that instead. This is what happens when you... Life is always terrible. Um, let me just send that on. Live with... Hello. Review of his wine. Let's pull that right. As we are posh, record check. I'm doing this live. I'm doing uh, this is like uh, how professional I am. Check it out. And I apologize for everything I ever do. Um, we're still waiting for it to come in. Hello, Tommy Mark. Hello, people. Circus. No, he's here. Right, so let's bring him on. Do my fucking turn up right there. There we go. He's live and he doesn't even realise it. Hello. Hello, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Enjoying the evening. Doing good. The, uh, lockdown evening, as you say. How is your wine? Very, very red. It is very red. I feel you like with alcohol, you kind of just determine on what it looks like more than the taste. Yes, indeed. Yes. So I'm looking forward to what we're about to be answered right now. I'm thinking the questions, yeah. some questions are coming up. Uh, there might be some questions from the chat, but it was decided to be, um, unfortunately, I'm so terribly unprepared. One, traditionally, my Star Wars Trooper beer pint glass i've not finished the last drink i had in it yet so i've got to drink this first mm. before we start the next tips the beer review so oh the beer review is going down i'm looking forward to this um so you're down as betch but you are um uh, a kylo ren uh look-alike people would say yeah, almost, yeah. I personally um, call her in the bedroom for my girlfriend. 
<laughs> he's a <laughs> he's he's a gentleman of the streets and a freak in the sheets. I think the term is. <laughs> You could say that, my friend. A Sith <laughs> in the sheets and a dead Jedi. In the <laughs> <laughs> could say that also. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, have you seen? Have you checked the um, the live chat? No, I have no idea what I'm looking at. What I've never used this fucking thing. There you go. Right. That is um, no, just London. one of the comments. Kylo's London. Call me Mark. Yes, because well, Kyle is yeah, a actual uh, Disney Channel um, thing account together. <laughs> That's what yeah. we use. Yes, you actually know each other through a Disney Plus through, account. Through Disney Plus, yeah. <laughs> I've only ever used twice, and that is to watch um, the kid and loads of Simpsons movies and the, the Star Wars, the last Star Wars movie. Yeah. So. By Kylo, it's no spoilers, but he's all right by me. Yeah, uh, your your sister has mm. put cringe. <laughs> Just disappointing, that is. Yes. Hard words, is it? Here's the thing about so basically, we was like all week, everyone was going to us like, so we're gonna have this work thingy on Friday. We're gonna go like you know, and then our head chef was like. Won't reveal about when we go back to work, and literally, like, we went into the, in the meeting today, and I was like, I had like five hours sleep last night, so I was like, oh, maybe like it might be like going back to work. What day we go back to work? And literally, was just about setting up a new kind of department in our work. Mm -hmm. Like, is that it? There's no, that's, that's just that's, that's, that's it. There was nothing else about like work. So that was it. That's what you did all day. That was your yeah, working I'm, day. I'm so excited because I thought they were going to like say to us, like, oh, yeah, like you're going to be going out to work on this day or that day. And then it was literally just like, yeah, by the way, we've set up a new crew in our work. And I was just like, crew? and I was like, anything else? <laughs> 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 no? Okay, then. Thank you for waking up at fucking nine o'clock in the morning to tell me this information that I. Did not need to know. You could have told me by an email address. And the fact is, I'm not even involved in the crew, which is happy for me. Basically, what they've done is they've they've basically taken the front of house from our work and moved them into this kind of receptionist thing. You're so a receptionist now. So no, no, no. So they've turned basically front of house into receptionists. Right. So it's pretty much like. The, the chefs will carry on cooking when we do eventually go back, but the front of house will now be receptionists to kind of move them, the Googlers, so I work for Google if anyone is watching and didn't know that, the Googlers will now be being taught about the new style of hospitality via these Ruse Cruise people. They just take people's temperatures. Yeah, and they take people's temperatures as well, that is the other thing. So, oh. so literally nothing about my work. So, so they're doing so, all of that, but you're still not doing anything. Something good. Something good did happen today. My the best news yes. today was my um, the head of food in the in the London area, who is actually now going to go on towards the head of food on the overall Google, who's going to move to California in about I don't know a couple of months time when all this gets sorted out. He yes. actually asked me for my. Um, strawberry wings recipe which i put on instagram yesterday which has now got currently over 700 likes on instagram so, wow so me yeah. so very very happy about that well it sounds like it's all going well for you especially on the oh, instagram as much as much as it could I would... ask ian how his day was. yeah ian how's your day been that's what i need to ask you as well it's not been going too badly, actually. I, I did some layouts for a uh, um, secret project number four, and um, I did that. I did some work on uh, another piece of artwork. Um, I did all the recycling, all of that, as I always do. So it's not been a bad day, actually. I was off today, so it was very good, actually. 
Um, How do I get you onto the full screen, by the way? Because I'm really like confused. I've got you like a little bit of my screen. How do I get you onto the full? What What do you mean full? Because I'm coming on my screen. It's like yes. you're like in the screen, but you're not full screen. Like, I'm in the screen, but it's not. That's not full. my arm, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's another cool. person. That that, that is that would not be, something that would be humanly impossible. That that looks like you. <laughs> it looks like you're being pleasured. <laughs> you're being pleasured online. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know what what we go on to. I've never, I've never used it before. Streamyard. This is this is. Yeah. This is what you use for YouTube. What do we do? We're customizing your Google. Controls. To be honest, bitch, you can see Ian. I can see Ian. I can see Ian. Yeah. So I mean, Fine. This it's is what fun. you use for. This is what you use for streaming on YouTube, pretty much. Okay, cool. Bitch, for some reason, has to have everything. You know, like um. Like the, the elderly people that may use their phones, put the text up to like. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very like, I li like to see like one word per, per a full screen of big button stuff. You, you like big buttons, don't you? I like, I like big button. I like big faces. Big faces. Big faces. Um, big faces you that? You're just looking at yourself. I am. I, 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 that's what I do on like cam. I just look at oh, myself. That, is that better that's for you? Like, I can't see you. That's now. worse. Okay. I, 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 literally, you're like, yeah. Is that better? Like, that's yeah. good. That's good. We'll stick to that. We'll stick to that. Okay. We'll stick to that. So, we started this. I don't even realize, remember why we started this live soon. There's only two people watching now. Um, one of them <laughs> probably sat out. Um, hipster beer review and hipster yeah. wine review. Yeah. Do you have the bottle of your uh, wine, I so do. you can tell, so you can say what your wine is? It's kind of got shit. Sorry, it's kind of got a tissue in the top of it. So I was actually going to go to bed. <laughs> but I was like, <laughs> Brilliant. So it's a uh, Marque Los Rios. Uh, Rios oh, right. Right. a Rioja. Rioja, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to fill my glass up now. Be honest, I've, I've got nothing to do tomorrow, so I'm going to fill this glass right at the way up. I've got something to do on Sunday. I'm going golf on Sunday. What a hipster, okay, what a hipster fucking sport that is right there. Yes. Can we swear? Can we swear? Are we allowed to swear? Yeah, you can say whatever you want on here. As, uh, the only thing, don't dox, don't dox yourself. Yeah, I'm That's not going to be, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna be like the Osbournes and just throw F words and C words and whatever the guy. Oh, you can, you, can, you can say all of that, but it's just more about don't say where you are. I, mean, you know, you know what, like, I feel like the thing that like, when people say you're allowed to swear, I feel like people swear more than they actually normally do. Yes. But I don't really swear when I talk. I feel like I've thrown a few F-bombs now and again, but I don't think I really kind of like throw it. Like, I don't feel like I kind of throw in as much as I would need to to be see deemed as like that's why i feel like as a chef i feel like i look at people like gordon ramsay i'm like you swear way too much you do not need to swear as much yes. as you swear. it's kind of disappointing yeah but i feel like it's just a bit it, it, it's the height yeah 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 gordon like, ramsay doesn't swear too much no, you know when people, no, 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 you know when people swear he doesn't people just edit it down yeah, you know you when know people swear, people swear and they swear and they don't even realize they're swearing that's me do you know what I mean? Like you don't even realise it. It's really annoying. It really, really bugs me. And you, know, you look back in like, Jesus Christ, that person sweat a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're going towards um, we're, we're going towards beer on this one. Yeah, well, we can do we we can well it's an alcohol stream, so it's a uh, alcohol Friday. Yeah, 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 Friday. So Friday, yeah, yeah. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it's Friday. Yeah. I don't even know what I, I just realized the other day it's like 120 days during the lockdown, which is like that's a, quarter, that's a third of the year, yeah. Really, really kind of just a weird one. This is it's, it's been a very weird year, it's been a very, very strange year. A lot of anxiety, a lot of people questioning what's going on. Yeah, we can't say that, we can't say the C yeah, word, yeah. Don't say the C word, we can't say the C word. So a lot yeah. of that and um you can say cock but you can't say that c yeah, word exactly. yeah like, <laughs> absolutely you can't say that at all so that's that's banned that's banned now so yes I feel like, um, I feel like, yeah i feel like with uh craft beer i used to work in a craft yes. beer pub 
and I feel like only a few beers used to kind of stick out to me because I feel like when it comes to craft beer, I feel like there's a middle ground where everything starts to taste the same. Yes. But it all try, it, like, I feel like when I look at a craft beer and it says, it says that it tastes like grapefruit or pineapple, I'm all, automatically going like, no. Because I feel like all craft beer tastes like pineapple or grapefruit. Even if Mango. it doesn't taste like that. Mango. Citrus and stuff. For me, when yeah. I have craft beer, I love a sour. Ooh, I love a sour. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is weird because I feel like what's weird about sours is it kind of like I don't like pickled food. I feel like that's yeah. probably my like least favorite style of cooking. And yes. it's like, you know, pickled. I don't like pickles. I don't like I like gherkins. But I don't like any kind of stuff. But I feel like with sours, it has that right balance between kind of being enjoyable and also a bit kind of like, oh, this is, I don't have to drink too much of it. You know when a drink tastes so nice that you don't want to, you drink all of it and you're like, I ain't got any more drink? Yes. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not, I feel like the only drinks that really do for me is like non-alcoholic drinks, like fruit juices. I just like down that and I'm like, oh, shit, I wish there was more. Well, that's what uh, Stato's saying here. Mm. He's saying he's drinking a root beer. Mm. Um, when you have a root beer, you're like, if you like a root beer, you like it. If you don't like it, you're like, Kh. but if you love root beer, you're like, ah, just drink it. I think, all I think root beer to me is the same as people liking licorice. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. Like, like for me, I don't look down on people that actually like it. But at the same time, I'm almost like, I want to know why you like it. Yes. I don't get it. <laughs> it's pretty, you pretty don't much. get it. Like, for me, it's, like, it's always been an argument of people that drink, like, vodka. Yes. I don't get that. I don't get it. Like, for me, it, it, it doesn't taste nice. And two, it smells awful when you've got a hangover. Yeah, like, yeah. The vodka yeah. hangover is nasty. It's disgusting. Like it kind of like brings a part of you that you don't want. So for me, that's that might be the same with root beer. Like A and W, I've had it before. Mm. Not, not a fan of it. I do prefer the. I don't. I be honest. I feel like a lot of people go on about when it when we talk about like soda. As I say, I feel like the UK market is better. Yes. And I'll tell you the best UK site, uh, the best UK soda I've got in my fridge over here. On a hot summer's day, there's nothing quite like a Fanta Limon. Uh, that is the best, uh, best drink in the world. I believe that may be American. Fanta? American, surely. Fanta is a Fanta is American, but the actual lemon uh, gray um, is more popular during uh, in, in, in like Europe. Lemon flavored drinks don't work in America, and I don't know why. I don't know why they don't, but apparently it's more popular over in Europe. Is that well? There's a couple couple of people in the chat. Stato is American. Yeah. Copy Mark is British. Do they think that lemon drinks are better in the UK rather than in, in America, an American iced tea is awful. Yeah, true. Uh, a UK iced tea is better. So put that in as well. UK iced tea is better than American iced tea. American oh, iced tea is just mm. Arizona is awful. Arizona's, Arizona's Arizona's wank. It's, it's I had it for the first time. I was like, this is awful. Arizona, what? Arizona. It's like, it's like a, Arizona's like a UK. Um, syrup that's banned in the UK. That's in it. What? Well, uh, no, I think it's I think it's, I think it's legal now. It's the corn syrup. Yeah, but corn it's like syrup, really yeah. bad for you. Corn syrup. Corn syrup is basically like in a lot of American drinks, and corn syrup is a um, <laughs> alternative to sugar. So it's it's it, it passes through the sugar tax, which we are um, over the last year and a half. We're actually not allowed to serve without a um, on the possible but the tax on it. We're not really. <laughs> The tax on sugar now. Fanta is a poor man's saying that, <laughs> that is that is see I'd agree with that if I lived in the nineties. 
but the not in all fairness, no what I'm not seeing. I'm ne- oh fucking hell! This is really hard because I've never seen someone say I fancy a can of Tango in literally about twenty years. So, well, Tango welcome to the Tango Boomer. Tango Boomer, right there. That is that's not cool. I'll be honest though. My my one of my favorite drinks of all time, soda wise. Yes, is, is the uh, cherry Coke. But in all fairness, oh yes, cherry coke. In all fairness, nineties cherry coke. When you know your drink's good is when it's in songs. Yeah. Right. Okay. Savage Garden, like a drinking cherry cola. That's when you know you got another song. Um, LFO. Uh, I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch, and then there's like that. just something about she likes cherry cola. Like when your song is when you're like fucking product is in yes. a song. That's when yeah. you know that you're made it as a fucking drink company right there. Has your Fanta Lemon made it to a a song? No. Um maybe. Maybe some Puerto Rican or <laughs> some oh Hispanic country might have, might have put Fanta Lemon. I mean we kind of that was always like when we went to like I'm 27 now, so I've not been going on like lads holidays in a while. But when we used to go to lads holidays when we were, you know, um, 20, 21. Boys. There's one called their band's called Fella Boys, number one. But when we used to go to like lads holidays, like we'd always wake up in the morning or we'd go to the local cafe and get Fanta Lemon. There's like, yeah. you know, Fanta Lemon has been in songs. Fanta Lemon's been in songs. The Manor. Fanta Lemon's been in songs. The Manor. A big band, but uh, yeah, you and it's about a girl. You there you go, Fanta Lemon. Fanta Lemon's been banned. Banter, you melt, lemon, there you go, Fanta Lemon. It's been in songs. That's that proves it, mate. That proves it right there. Proves it right there. So, yeah, another one. Back, but what, 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 what I want to say is, what I want to say right now is, what this, yeah. is, this is my issue, this is my issue with, with these really tasty soda drinks, right? Is that yeah. we kind of we we forget about like when we mix alcohol we do like mixers you know like we have our yes. coke we have our sprite you know blah, blah blah we never include the tasty like drinks in it when have you ever heard about a dr pepper spritzer like oh. in a, when have you heard That'd about it? it would but when have you heard about it when have well, you heard we about used it? To, we used to have uh leaf soda and vodka that's mad. That's heart attack. No, that's not bad. Red Bull, Red Bull, I don't get. Red Bull, I don't get. Even when I used to go clubbing, when I was, I turned eighteen, and I used to go to clubs, and then people were like, "You want a Red Bull and vodka?" I'd be like, "That's fucking disgusting. Don't put that anywhere near me. You might as well fucking give me a fucking line of cocaine and then say, here you go, mate, it's a coke.' It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's ridiculous. I don't like Jaeger bombs. I don't like. Any energy drink involved in any alcohol, it is disgusting. People need to get out of their heads that energy drink is ridiculous. I don't know what orderly pib. Pib is a um is that a, that that's a like a Dr. Dr. Peppers, I think. Orderly pib, let's have a little Google. Let's have a little orderly pib. Yeah. Orderly pib. By the way, uh um, Kylo hashtag Betch is a professional chef trained in. I just got orderly. Pit. You you weren't trained oh, by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, why? Was that? You, you were trained by a chef. I don't want to give too much away, but you were trained by people. I mean, I've, I've, been, I've learned the best from good chefs, and I've learned the worst from worst chefs. Yeah. And I, to kind of live your life you learn the worst parts about bad chefs you learn the good stuff from good chefs and i think that's the yeah. way you do any kind of profession and if you have any manager above you that is kind of shit you learn from their mistakes to make sure you never do it again if you have anyone above you that's really really good you learn from their worst parts and make sure you continue that in your career it was a um, it was a joke that uh oh, yeah. I actually forgot about yeah that um Stato and I came up with last time about uh, instead of Dr. Peppers, you had an orderly. We was, we was like, we was on a um, on a mad one. Yeah. 
Xbox, but before this, we were just we were just getting involved with like BOM and stuff like that. We just have a chat and and just like talking about all the issues going on in the world right now. I feel like you know, as people, we need to kind of enjoy fun times like this together and try and you know. And so yeah, we don't do we, yeah, we don't do politics on here because it's yeah. it brings everybody down when you talk about politics. Yeah, to, like, to be to be to be kind of positive and kind of go away your life and you know so hopefully no one pops any positive poli- positive things in there because i i'm done with it tonight <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. it's all about it's all about positivity anyway oh, um, one of your guys out. Out of beer for like a few, I, that's that was me last week you missed that show yeah i had a liter can of beer yeah called fax f-a-x-e mm. and it was flat the cat it tasted awful um stato was here as my co-host it had great van art as in the art on the cow was fantastic and we're meant to be talking about this five points i've five had a five point before um i can't remember what drink it was but i've had a five points before it may have been this one uh let me just read it to you it's called a juicy pale ale mm. with us hops for tropical fruit flavors that's why that's that means it's gonna that? Have time for a fucking grapefruit, in my opinion it's that's gonna be automatically scares me yeah it's gonna be that's grapefruit that. or mango isn't it yeah a full a full body and low bitterness not good for you you like the bitterness yeah i do like the bitterness and things for a refreshing taste mm. uh, I feel like you get, like, you get me- like least like messed up when you drink bitter drinks i feel like you have to i feel like when you drink bitter drinks you go to water to kind of like quench your thirst i feel like if you drink quenching alcoholic drinks you end up with a worse hangover like personally for me i feel like i love i i, I don't know I, I really really like water like i feel like i'm a bit of a water connoisseur like I, yeah, really water water. Water. I really fucking love water, water. no nah, it's it you're is. wrong you're wrong on that no 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 you're wrong buxton is, is is heads and tails above your one buxton's, buxton's good buxton's good yeah i feel like i feel like water like i would much rather dive into like the water connoisseur than like like shitty sodas i think like water is really really kind of interesting to get involved with because if you look at like yes if you look at water you gotta look at like like that shit is like naturally made that that's mind-blowing yes so like one water from one stream tastes nicer than the other that's amazing that's like that's not saying my piss tastes nicer than some other random guys like that is it like do you know what i mean like that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> random the concept is mad the concept is brilliant i love uh, him absolutely love him so what, what ha, can we just roll back a second you said that yeah. your piss tastes better than other people's piss no no but what i mean i mean in the concept of that with water it's from a stream which is man like naturally made yes my urine system is naturally made the same yes. as this person's is like to think that nothing has gone into making that stream as my pee has gone into making my pee do you know what i mean it's so like okay. it's naturally made it's naturally made like no yes. no one's no one's gone to the beginning of the stream and gone i'm gonna put some things and then this one they're gonna be dude nurser <laughs> and then you get the end of the stream like this tastes fucking this tastes dope when it's a naturally good stream, you're like, oh, I get that. I get that. I, I, think, I think I know what you mean. I think I know no, what you mean. mean. You get what I mean? Like, you get what I mean? When yeah. It yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, yeah. Water. Like, do you know what? There's, there's that rumor, like, like about um, Michael Jackson bathing in, like, es- uh, Evian water. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest, it done nothing good for him. So I don't think it's going to be good for him. <laughs> Oh, you might as well drop. Uh, uh, 
Uh, I was waiting for Jabba to show up. Jabba is our <laughs> resident troll. You have to hail the uh, Jabba the coach. He's a uh, legendary uh, troller. <laughs> yeah. Jabba the slut is a better name. I thought. He was Jabba. He, he's been Jabba the cuck. I believe he was Jabba the slut. And he, uh, he hates me. So. Jabba the cuck virus. Yeah, he's been Jabba the C virus as well. I'm Ian's brother in law. So before they married, I still have the approval. So don't piss me Just off. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> Just ducks me live on stream. Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> uh, behind behind uh, um, Kylo's. Uh, Betch is picture is one of my uh, paintings. It's one of yours, right there, mate. One of mine, right there. That's been brought up in many work conversations during the last three months. Oh, good. So a lot of people have been going to me. What's that picture? I'm like, it's fucking Jester Benton, the greatest lead focus of all time. So you can fuck off any uh, any problems. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. what like, into that. We've got six people watching now. We're starting to get a, we're starting to get some traction on this show. We're starting to get it's gonna get it's gonna kick off in a minute. I need to, I need to find my full charger quickly. So okay, okay. okay. You, you, do, you, it's, you do the wise guys on me now. You're just randomly wandering off. I'm you, mate. I'm leaving you for the slice. Bench, pick up the full. He's just wandered off. Okay, so um, maybe I can use it the, the USB. You can literally put it into the laptop. I can. I can do that. From a USB, please. Babe. Oh my god. So, my, so basically, we've we've um, my mate Ollie is. We've been playing a lot of like Xbox together, and his uh, girlfriend's been joining like chat. Him. Yeah. And like you have, you have the USB. He's been like honestly like. Like his girlfriend comes in, he just calls her babe like every two minutes, so it's kind of like unbearable. It's almost like, "Hey, babe, yeah, like the players with GTA, babe, it's all fun, babe." And like literally, we're just like sitting there and we're like, "Can you stop calling your girlfriend babe for two minutes, dude? It's really unbearable." I'm trying to find it. Exactly. So, <laughs> bitch, we're gonna wrap this up because I think that. Um, your sister's going to be going live shortly so we're gonna we're gonna say au revoir no i want to carry on coming up carry on go into a different room it's the internet gas the internet the internet gas is strong with him let's carry this on fuck my sister's stuff no one cares He's still got a half glass of wine to drink. You got you you got to, you. Don't leave what me do we do have a, Come on. A guest who wants to stay on. Yeah, I, I, I was trying to tell you about this drink, and oh my god, this is the second one of these we've got out of hand. So come on, go on, go on, go on to the other room. We'll carry on ours. I should can carry on hers. You got two laptops. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. Shot. Carry on. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> All I can say is that from Stato. Shots fired. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. You, you, he wants a live. He, he wants a live stream war against you. So I've got a screen snipe you. Yeah. Oh, back and forth. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see if we can use again. <laughs> Give me, give me the link. I'm putting on my Instagram. I've got over over a thousand followers now. Maybe that might bring bring some kind of, you know, followers. Just tell me the link. No, it's the Streamyard link. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll put it in the chat. All right. You got well, a door? You got a door? What? Come on, get it on, get it on. We have a get door. On. Get we it have, on. We have get more than on. one door. Exactly. Go and get the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you like to talk about? Now, now, my beer review has been completely uh, overtaken by... I think we'll talk about anything apart from politics. Let's talk about... You don't talk politics let's, on let's it. Talk about, let's talk about drinks. Let's talk about food. Let's do like a drink and a food thing. Let's do it. Yeah. 
Do you drink yeah, that? Yeah. So what was it you were saying about your you you were making something at work? Oh yeah, so basically um about a year ago we I came across this recipe from a very popular like wing restaurant in London talking about strawberry wings. Wings? It's like wings, like strawberry wings, as in like chicken wings, but with like a strawberry sauce going through. And I thought to myself, this sounds fucking wacky, and I don't really get it, but then I kind of do. And then eventually what happened was I kind of got intrigued by it, and I followed the shop, and then they eventually won, like, the um, American tournament of, like, wings. So do you remember that wing wing thing that um, Andy went to? Yeah, and then you just got Andy as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so basically... Um, they won like that wing tournament for the best wings in yeah. the world or well, the best wings in you know and i follow i followed them i went and then i went it's like sticky wings and the shops the restaurant's called um uh, sticky wings and it's in soho and yes. they've been very very popular over the last couple of like years i've followed them and we had a um thing that come up our work we've been doing a lot of like obviously during lockdown we've been doing a lot of like um tournaments little like competitions i mean like every week's been like different recipes a different ingredient and i've won two already um not gonna brag about it but um <laughs> and then uh, and then basically like this week was like strawberry and I, i'm not yeah. really the biggest fan of desserts so i thought yeah i know everyone can make a strawberry cheese everyone can make a victoria spine blah 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 so what if you took strawberry and made it into something savory so I thought, all right, cool. I'm going to go back to what I love, you know, the biggest food I love in the whole world. And um, that is that is wings. And and I feel like wings were, wings were something that's kind of like, it sounds really weird, but it's like wings, chicken wings are like something that's kind of like almost um, very like big to me. I feel like yeah. that might be my like, moment in life where i realized i want to be a chef was through wings and it's really 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 weird because like, well, like, you know, like, be a... like it's, it's one of those things where like i tasted for the first time i was like jesus christ like i didn't know food could taste as good and it was chicken wings so it kind of like yeah. me up, but like yeah i fucking love i love chicken wings so i thought okay like i'm gonna make like strawberry buffalo chicken wings i'm gonna do that okay and um, we uh, for the recipe, I basically got um, a pan of fresh strawberries, you know, not jam or any kind of bollocks. Got strawberry, uh, fresh strawberries, cut them, um, took the top off, um, and then made like a jam out of it using white wine, vinegar, using sugar, using salt, and a little bit of water just to cook it down. And then got to a nice consistency, blended it in the blender, and then I put in some buffalo sauce. Yes. I put fresh and fire to wings. And in all fairness, I do like those thick wings. They are good. Um, <laughs> but I feel like this this recipe works really well with wings. So yes. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do like strawberry wings. So I feel like everyone was going to do make fucking cheesecakes. We're going to make fucking, you know, blah, blah, blah. Chocolates dipped in strawberry and all this kind of bollocks. And then, um, so yeah, basically after that, I kind of yeah, blitzed it out. Put the uh, Frank's red hot sauce in there. Because you can't go buffalo without Frank's red hot sauce. Number one, very good. Put that okay. in there, blend it around, put a bit of butter in there as well, and then use that and basically cook the wings, toss them in the sauce. Bit of, I made a blue cheese dip, which is just iconic when it comes to buffalo wings. And then the strawberry buffalo wings in the blue cheese dip was, oh my God, it was unbelievable. It, it, it's the weirdest thing about making that recipe was actually the fact that like three hours later and I smelt my fingers, I still smelt like strawberries <laughs> on my fingers. So the thing is, it smelt you know, like you, bro, Messi, you're saying that on, on YouTube. What the, do you, what the chat's going to say? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It smelt, <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. And I will be honest, and I feel like I've got a one out of two, two out of two, you know, blah, blah. It smelt so much like strawberries. Like the smell on my fingers was strawberries. No bollocks, please. Absolutely no bollocks. <laughs> no bollocks at all. Honestly, 
the sauce smelled like strawberries, but the sauce tasted like buffalo. It was like one of the weirdest, <laughs> one of the weirdest things. And uh, honestly, like I'm being serious, like it was so, so effing strange. It was really, really weird, really weird. Were they good though? Unbelievable, unbelievable, really. Oh really good. I feel like I feel like the weirdest. Have you tried mountain oysters? They're so juicy. Oh God! <laughs> I've got to Google what mountain oysters are because I feel like this you is don't want to do, not do that at work. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna request it. Mountain oysters. There you go. <laughs> don't, don't ask for that. What you're gonna get some weird stuff. Yeah, no, I haven't had them. <laughs> but no, I feel like with um with, with that with that dish anyway, it was kind of like almost it's such a juxtaposition you look at because you look yeah. at like the spicy and then you look at like people look at that go like, strawberry wings and they go nah mate fuck off you're having a laugh but then I, I i thought the same when i saw the the thing in um soho and then i yeah. eventually two years later right now tried it yeah. and i was like oh like i get that i get what it means because it almost reminded me of a sweet and sour sauce. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at you look at how the Americans love their pancakes with their maple syrup and bacon or sausage and bacon and stuff like that. Like, it's, yeah. it is in the same, it's, it's, it's together, you know, and they're using like fresh ingredients, especially like this, this time of the year, to use ingredients that actually are at the now. I feel like that's what we need to kind of do, especially during like a lockdown. To use fresh ingredients. Yeah, yeah, and um, as we're in the lockdown, it is uh, inspirational for people to see do people doing different stuff, and it makes people think, "Oh, I'll try that. I'll try that." Instead of just sitting down and having a microwave meal. Mm. No, don't get me wrong. I feel like a lot of a lot of dishes that I do, a lot yeah. of dishes that a lot of like very high quality chefs do. Like they do go wrong the first time. You just have to perfect them. I feel like you know, there's things that I've made in the past. I think I think things I've I've made in lockdown where I've looked, I've like eaten them, and I've been like, this dog shit. Like, I really fucking don't want to eat it. Do you know what I mean? Like I've been mean, like, when it comes to like basic cooking, I feel like sometimes you need to stick to the basic stuff. Like I hate, absolutely hate when people try to like adapt fish and fish and chips. Like it's it's rank. I can't stand when people like. Oh, let's, bit of, let's put a bit of turmeric. Maybe we batter the chips and maybe we put vinegar inside the, the fish. It's like, I can't stand it. Just uh, keep, it keep it simple. It's the way it's the way you should be with, with food. I know exactly what you mean, but it's the Waitrose phenomenon. Yeah. So for our American friends, we have a very posh supermarket, which is really expensive and they do nice stuff but they have a tendency to do what you want to eat they think every meal has to be a dinner party meal mm. so you can't just buy a burger it has to be a burger with turmeric and cheese infused in the middle of it mm. or you can't just buy a nice piece of lamb because it'd be lamb with uh underneath the skin they've in, yeah. they've yeah. in uh, garlic everything has to have something added in to it every day and it's just not needed at all i talked to um my we done like a, we always do like a chef chat on the friday and then people and every one of the chefs talking about a lamb burger they had and i just automatically like cut it off i was like look a burger is simple you don't have to mess around with burger you don't have to put fucking curry powder and make it an indian burger you don't have to make it blah 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 blah. indian food is good because it's indian food automatically the curry is good because it's a fucking curry you don't need to make it you don't need to make it you don't have to interpret it to be a certain item of a dish a burger is great because it is a burger it's meat good quality cut meat good quality cheese gherkin mustard ketchup mayo that's it that's a burger that's right there Exactly the same as I feel of a burger has Indians feel about a good quality curry as, um, you know, 
Japanese people feel about fucking sushi and shit like that. Like it's it's about you've got to look at that kind of stuff and you've got to go. This is it, things don't have to be adapted all the time to taste nice. You know, you don't have, to have an Indian style burger because you can try it, you can get involved with it, but at the same time, it's never going to be as good as the actual thing. If if you go to any Indian person and ask them to make you a chicken tikka masala, they'll fucking spit in your face. They will. Yeah. It's embarrassing for them. They don't want to be involved. Yeah. With it. The same thing, yeah. you don't want to make an Indian fucking burger because they're going to be like, no, nah, I don't want to be involved. With it. Well, I think what is 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 that the whole fusion fu food has mm. gone far too far, and it's now let's yeah. put this with this, let's put, and uh, eventually you're going to end up with like a let's put a um, caffeine into something else, mm. and, da, 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 and it's. That is pretty much sums it up. Yeah. Now I think I think that's the thing. It's like you've got a kind of you know when it comes to um food, especially like you've got to look at like you know for example, you know you can't change it too much. It's got to be if you perfect simple food. Yes. Then that's it. You don't have to do anything else. No, no. You don't have to do anything else. You perfected something that's just simple. A pickled <laughs> egg is a pickled egg. You don't need to. Don't start me with these pickled eggs. Don't start me with them, mate. I'm, I'm fed up. I'm, fed, I'm, I've been questioning about these pickled eggs for fucking ages. And I don't get them. I don't understand. I've not tried one yet. My mum bought me some the other day to try, and I feel like we might have to try them for the first time on this, on this, on this thing tonight. <laughs> what you want to do it tonight? I feel like we might have we might have to do it. I feel like no, but I feel like might tonight might be the best time because I'm never going to try them if I'm not drunk. Yeah, but you've drunk two bottles of wine, bitch. I'm not drunk two bottles yet. You've drunk two bottles of wine. No, I'm not. I'm not drunk two bottles of wine yet. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the stuff that's left in his glass is the last. I said to Mia, we basically my mum bought me these pickled eggs, and I was like, we we've, we've been like. Kind of taking the out of and I don't want to try it. I feel like it's the food that I'm scared of the most. Should we ask the chat? Well, we've only got five people watching, and I believe one is your sister. If no. three out of five people say to try this pickled egg, I will try the pickled egg right now on cam. To say yes yeah. for the pickled egg tasting. Yeah, say yes or one in the chat. Most of them aren't even probably listening. If one <laughs> person comes back with yes, eat the egg. Who is that for my sister? Eat I'm about egg. I'm about no. to go screen snipe you. Good luck, scumbags. Right. We better one, post our chat into your chat. One, one, one. Right. I'm going to go get the eggs just to prepare. Oh Shove it in your mouth. I'm not going to throw up. I'm not that no, can you empty it in the kitchen? I don't want to Get to the beer review. Can we... No, I'm trying to do a serious beer review here. Thank you very much. Get off. Get off me, Satan. You embarrass me in front of Darth Optimus. I can't see the stream. I want to do something quickly. Watch, 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 watch. watch I apologise for this. <laughs> it's embarrassing <laughs> on my show. <laughs> <sighs> I apologise for that. Whoever's still watching. <sighs> Mark wanted the uh, link. How the hell do I share the link? By myself, not that. No, I'm just waiting. Just going to go on Twitter. Go to there. Uh, right, don't do it now. Hold on. 
You have to go ten two straight from the fight. I uh, actually, yeah, good point. I'm going to I'm going to play. Go with me before you do anything. Oh, I'm trying to play. I'm trying to play. If anything goes on my day, he's on the play. Right, I've just invited my uh, our friend Mark in. <laughs> Optimus now unlocked character. I'm just uh, replying to people in the chat. The Haggis Miss has left because he is disgusted by this uh, behavior. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I've got a lot of water as well. In case. Have you got an ink? Did you get? Yeah. I'm use my fingers. Yeah, but you're going to. Before you eat it. Uh... Right. Uh, Betch? Yeah. I'm bringing in Mark. So we have to do hello, hello, and all of that. I'm going to oh. change that to a different uh, Nobody likes that There we go That's better Hello Hello That's Me, call me Mark <laughs> <laughs> This is like the weirdest thing I've ever done Ever Do not put that back on the desk I'm not putting it on the desk I'm looking forward to this Like uh, I want to see this egg eating moment Like I was there when Piper shaved her head And now I'm there when Charlie's brother eats an egg Hey, hey. Oh, it's, funny, it? <laughs> it's quite hot. It's quite texture-wise. It's quite. It's quite tough. What does it smell like? Smell it. it doesn't smell too bad. It just smells like. Oh, it smells like vinegar. Oh, smells like vinegar. I feel like these are quite good quality. Right. How much do I have to eat? I want to eat it. I want to eat You're going to eat half, yeah? You're going to eat half as well? Yeah. Oh, my girlfriend's kind of going to eat half as well. All right. Let me take the banner down. Okay. Let me put you on main screen. Oh, okay. No, not me. Don't need it yet. <laughs> it's very That's weird. Okay. It's like How do I put him on main screen? Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. I've got to do. Uh, Charlie's closed. Charlie's closed. Uh, it's like got grooves. Here we go. Grooves there, hasn't it? It's just a boiled egg, which is. <laughs> no, 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 like, look at the. Oh, they can't see. There's like grooves in it. Grooves in his egg. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. There you go. Oh, that's right. He's gone into it. It's like a mountain oyster, isn't it? Yeah. Is it nice? It's better with uh, salt and vinegar crisps. It's not for me. It's not for me. It's not for you, bro. It's not for me. It's a bit hard. Yeah, that's what oh, she's It's not meant to be hard. No. No, it's not. No. That's not what I thought it was going to taste like. Oh, no. I hate no, it. No, it's rank. I really don't like it, and I don't know what to do. Oh, fuck. That's rank. I hate it. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Is it great? I'm never eating one of those again. Is it great? I'm never one again. That's disgusting. No, I hate it. Just no. Oh, God, I hate it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm eating my, bit of my toasty, which I made earlier. Oh, no, I actually don't like what it. What is that? How do I get it out of my mouth? So I haven't stopped him. Do people like that? Yes. No, no it's like, um, that's disgusting. It's fine. And then, um, no, it's not fine. It's got a whole 100% of that thing is not fine. It's disgusting. It was all right. And then I don't know what happened. It's not happened. 
Yeah, Why? I've got to go. I've got a more interesting and better stream to be yeah. on. With yeah, your we got your sister, with your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Right. Bye. Yeah, we got to go. All right. Bye, bye. Mark. Something happened during that, which which made me think this isn't right. What did you say? It was hard. It was. It was like, like the white bit's firm. The texture was like very very weird. It was very strange. It's just a boiled egg in pickle. Yeah, but it's yeah, why exactly. It? That's why it's weird. No, there was, it was like, like a boiled egg isn't like a substantial. It was like dry in the middle. It's but very like weird. Right. Nah. We're, we're gonna we're gonna have to sort this out at a later date because That's it's a uh, quarter awesome. to two. You're gonna have to eat another one, one of these at a later date so we can work this out. That's disgusting. Uh, That's disgusting. I'll do that again. We're coming up to 55 minutes. Uh, I think it's time we wrap this up because this has been a complete train wreck this entire show. <laughs> um, we'll do it again. Always, I will look forward to doing just, beer reviews. We'll do beer reviews. I think we should kind of stick to maybe a motive of like beer and food. We kind of like maybe we could do that once a week. Yes, sir. And then um, we could. Maybe get some more people involved to watch. What, uh, what, yeah. what time are we going on? We're we going on American time. We're we going on English time. Well, we're running late because it's early for those guys. Hmm. So you have to run at a late time for us. Um, but yeah, we get there. We get there. But uh, I'm gonna close the stream off now. Mm. And we we'll have a little chat in the in the green room afterwards. Green room? Where's the green room? I uh, will talk to you about that in a second. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll All say right. you goodbyes to everybody on the stream. Bye 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 bye. bye, 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 bye. That's horrible. It tastes horrible. He's going. I should the stream. I should in the stream. No, let's call me Mark. It's fine. I'm still here. Don't worry. I'm about to say, what, should we go into a hangout? Should we go into Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's the hands? It's not in it. It has not in it.